I'm here with Rick Malone, the Chief Driving Instructor at, here at Spring Mountain Motorsports Resort, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the uh, differential on the Corvette. Absolutely. So thank you very much, Jeremy. I'm going to try to uh, explain how this uh, electronic limited slip differential, differential works in, in layman's terms. I'm going to kind of keep it really simple so we can understand. So here's a cutaway of our differential, and it's the electronic limited slip. And the reason it's called a differential because your axle shafts are connected on these couplings. And it allows the axles to operate at different speeds. So that's where we get the term differential from. So a racer's dream is to have an open differential uh, once we begin to turn the steering wheel, we want a locked differential under braking, and then we begin to turn the steering wheel, we want an open differential, and then coming out of the corner, we want it locked again. But we can't make those changes while we're driving, so GM's come up with a clever idea. This is the clutch pack, plaque right here, the clutch pack. And you'll see these clutch packs, they're very, very loose, okay? In a mechanical limited slip differential, you have high tension spring rates, and it's keeping those clutch plates always got a lot of tension on them, so they will slip, but there's a lot of tension on them, so you don't, that doesn't really give that open differential effect. So, when we're off the throttle, in corner entry, these clutch plates are flopping around. There's no friction, so the axles can operate at different speeds. Once we begin to accelerate and take steering out, these are little pistons right here. These are, there's about five or six of these pistons in here, and it's operated by this computer and this pump. And the computer tells the pump to activate, and it clamps, it clamps these clutch plates together, allowing both axles to drive completely, giving us basically a locked rear end. So in a nutshell, really simple, you come off the throttle, it opens the clutch plates up, they flop around there with no friction, you apply the throttle, the hydraulic pumps, clamps these shut, so we're driving both axles. Best, best of both worlds. Fantastic, really Rick. Thanks for sharing that with us today. We appreciate it. You're very welcome, Jeremy. Thank you very much.